Hello and welcome again to our beautiful Basilica here at Carmel Nation. In our second reading uh, during our Mass this weekend, we have uh, the letter to the Romans, which is one of my favorite pieces of Scripture. And uh, there you'll find one of my favorite verses of Scripture, which I chose as the verse to put on my ordination card. And then, uh, believe it or not, some 70 years later, Father Rodrigo chose the same verse to put on his ordination card. And the verse is, all things work for good with those who love God. All things work for good with those who love God. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. A beautiful verse, but hard to accept at times when we're faced with all sorts of difficulties, burdens that we feel are very, very heavy to bear, uh, fears for our future, different hurdles that we have to jump over in order to make progress in life. Shattered, broken relationships. And yet, God reassures us again and again that in all things He's working for good if we love Him. And it feels like we have been through all possible permutations of, of lockdown scenarios, doesn't it? Things change uh, each, each week, it seems. Different restrictions are lifted and then reimposed. When we first went under the shelter in place, remember all those months ago? That was in March, right? And we pivoted quickly here at our mission to develop our community online, and we continued to celebrate Mass virtually. We created a virtual community since we could not gather together in person. And then restrictions lifted somewhat, and we were able to gather in our beautiful basilica here for Mass, albeit in a, a new way. And we continue to offer Mass online via live uh, stream for those who are, were not able or did not feel comfortable about coming back to the Basilica. Well, last week, new restrictions took the Sunday Mass outdoors to our beautiful main patio. Patio, or courtyard. And uh, it was a beautiful celebration. We had some technical difficulties but uh, we are trying to overcome those, of course, and we continue to offer Mass to those who are joining us online. Mass will also be offered in our courtyard outdoors uh, at 8.30 and 11 a.m. until further notice. So if you want to tune in to our streaming Mass, please do so on Sunday morning. Our parish office remains closed at this time, but when we're able to reopen again to welcome you back, it will be in a new location. It's no longer located in the rectory building, but is instead in what was the school office, the principal's office. And all deliveries are being directed to this new location, and when the office is open, we do want you to call by and uh, say hello and we, we will uh, come and uh, welcome you, welcome you back. So as our world navigates this coronavirus uh, crisis, each turn in the road offers new challenges that we must negotiate and in turn overcome. Here at Carmel Mission, it is only with your support, your encouragement, and your uh, continued membership of our community that allows us to serve all our people, to provide all the essential ministries of service, alive and in action. So I want to thank you for that. 
Without you, none of this would be possible. In the first reading of our Mass, we hear the story of King Solomon, who asked God for an understanding heart, an understanding heart, and whose wisdom and leadership became a thing of legend. Uh, Solomon was driven by a desire to serve God's people. And I, I know that this same desire for service drives our wonderful community here at Carmel Mission. And so our request to God this week is, just like Solomon's, grant your servant an understanding heart. I continue to wish you and your loved ones the safety, good health, renewed hope, and profound peace. <laughs>